Oh, you could have the time one. What's the time display for? Just how long you play it? Uh, I guess if you're speedrunning it. Yeah. Neat. I like how Nintendo's like, we know you're gonna speedrun our game. Here's a. Well, it's, Nintendo doesn't make this. It's yeah. Random fucking guy made it. Touche. Welcome back to Dust of Gamers. We're on a new sunken area. I like how it's new bosses too. Of Kamiko. I'm really, really digging this game. It feels like a great, like, time waster type game too for... I really dig the art. I just... I'm not sure if I'm on board with the whole gameplay of it. I really want to, um... Pull it off and see how it looks handheld. I bet it looks great handheld. I don't know. It looks the same except smaller. <laughs> well, the graphics look different when it's handheld sometimes. Like it's just pixels are sharper because they're closer together. Right. It's your brain trying to wrap around the uh, the effect of having something so crisp in a small space in your hands. Yeah. When uh when Walkmans first came out, headphones and shit. Uh huh. That shit used to blow people's minds. <laughs> What's that? Like the idea of having headphones on, like the uh, having yeah. having the sound on your ears, because it's so it's you know it's quiet amount of sound, but you're putting it right up through your ears. Right. Drove people nuts. Like they were, when first headphones were first around. But the headphones were around way before Walkmans. Well, I mean Walkmans was mostly talking about having the music like in the palm of your hand, and so. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, you've been around long enough to know about you know fucking iPods blowing people's minds. I had Walkmans. But I'm not saying though, it's like having, yeah. Yeah. having the ability to have 5,000 songs in your fucking hand was a crazy thing too. I remember having 20 songs being a crazy thing when before the huge iPods came out. Dude, f just, just being able to fucking you know, start a fucking DVD immediately and go to a scene... It's crazy. Oh, I was fucking VHS. I had, I had, we had one of like the original DVD players. We had a DVD player a lot earlier than a lot of people because, <laughs> because of the Mayther tornado. <laughs> yeah, I always because uh, all of a sudden because I always think about a uh, uh, the the internet and how much it's changed the world and how impossible it'd probably be for something to come along that's that changing at this point. Because it's weird, like, when the Millennium when the when millennia came around, there was this, like, idea, that kind of pervasive idea in, like, media and stuff that we've done everything. Uh -huh. Like, you know, everybody always thinks they've reached the pinnacle of mankind. Right. But, like, that was before, like, the iPhone, before we all had, you know, handheld, super-powered, internet-connected telephones in our pocket. Right. And they were already thinking, wow, we've done everything. <laughs> And, like, in our lifetime, well, at least in my lifetime, you know, like, the iPhone and the internet have both become a thing. <laughs> yeah. And have I changed, mean, like, the even, world. Even mine, too. Oh, fuck. And God, it's, like, carrying I can't annoying. imagine, like, something coming along being nearly as life-changing as the internet. The only thing I can think of is, you know, some type of... Everything from now on is going to be an addition well, see, that's, to... But that's what everybody thought already. They thought that. That's what I'm saying. Is like, there was already... Every generation has this has an idea that what they've done, what like they can't even imagine what's the next step. Like, they right. always think, we've reached the pinnacle. It's just going to be iterations of this for now on. I mean, we thought the same thing with, like, the original cell phones. We're like, oh, we came up with portable phones. This is it. Oh. And then, you know... Phones have completely changed since then, and blown everybody's mind about how powerful they can be and what they can actually do. Right. Uh, so the. I mean, the, for a while there, CDs were thought to be like, uh, and people right now pretty much consider, because like Blu-ray hasn't really taken off. Like, I mean, it's a thing, but it hasn't like changed things the way DVDs did. And people still use fucking DVDs. Well, DVDs are dying off. I mean, but been around for a while people are using people are moving on to not even having physical you know stuff right now well the i guess you can do that now too though but 
just like the idea of like people think they're at the pinnacle of what they can achieve and it's like you, you never know when like something is life changing well, I mean, the internet will come along augmented reality I think that's going to be the next yeah we've been dreaming out about VR since the 90s and stuff though. but it's like, happening now it's just it it's all it, that that's all just seems like a waiting game with technology at this well, point well I'm saying augmented that's reality different. too like the like with the hollow lens and yeah. stuff like that the Google glasses. Even yeah. though Google glasses are dead, I don't think the, that the idea thing is with, dead. The thing with all. both VR and AR is they're they're literally like been the goal for people who are into sci-fi since the fucking seventies, pretty much. Right, but I'm saying. I mean, if you look at Star Trek, we've, we've been trying to do this shit forever, been working towards it, but like. I'm talking about something that you don't even dream of. It's down in the bottom corner. Yeah, I just couldn't get there. Like, stuff you can't even fathom. I remember thinking cable internet sounded crazy. Because, like, uh, we were all on using, you know, phone lines. And they were like, yeah, we're going to... We're going to... Instead of using the phone for that internet service, we're going to pipe it through cable. It's better. And we're like, that's cool. How long is that going to take? And they're like... It didn't take that long. <laughs> the, what's it crazy to me took, is... It took a few years for that to become the thing. What's crazy to me is how long fiber optics is taking. Well, that there's all sorts of weird stuff causing fiber optics to be a problem. Oh, I know all the reasons, because my stepdad does it. It's our, our, our cable internet can be better right now. It's all bullshit. Well, one of the problems with cable internet is the wires themselves. Well, no, it's the companies that own it don't want to upgrade it. They don't want to... That's what that's what all the regulations are for. It's to force these companies to actually give you the product you deserve. That's why they're trying to make uh, the internet a utility instead of making it like a, you know... A, a service? Yeah, because they're... They don't, they don't go out to, like, poor areas and fucking give it to them because there's not enough money in it. Even though, like... You practically need the internet to survive at this point, just because you're at such a disadvantage if you don't have it in this day and age. It's gone. It's gone from being like a, a luxury to like a necessary, right? Well, I mean, thing for life. I mean, you can't get at, a job you can't get a, now. You can't get a job at Chili's without a fucking internet. <laughs> I mean, even Walmart. You can't get a job with a, uh, without at Walmart without I mean, it, it, but. The difference is Walmart has a kiosk to let you do it because they know. Yeah, well, I mean they've they've done those kiosks since I was young. They always had the kiosk. They're just uh, connected to the internet now. Right. They always did the job interviews and stuff on them. I know. I'm just what I'm saying though is like. You look lost. I am lost. I'm not sure where I'm going. Do, 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 do. This area is just a giant. This one's just like a giant puzzle. Even more than the last one, it's like spaced out. Oh, I need to go up there. That's, I lowered that bridge. And then I never went over there. Son of a bitch. These look like little skulls with hoodies on. They're squares with hoodies. <laughs> yeah, I love that you can't get a job waiting tables without a fucking internet connection. And then, like, the whole scheduling and everything there is done on the internet. And that company's gotten pretty big at this point, so it's not like we're the only one using them. It's just funny to me, like, how, like, that's, shit. like, how can you not say it's necessary for, like, life at this point when you changed and made everything based on it? Like, you pay all your bills on it and everything, huh? I haven't wrote a check in so long. The other day, my mom asked me for one of my checks, uh, for a routing number for doing taxes. And I couldn't, I didn't know where it was because I haven't used it since I moved. <laughs> I was like, I, I have no idea where my fucking checkbook was. Yeah, I was about to say, that's the only reason we use them. It's right, yeah, rent checks. New game mechanic. Even then, even then, your your apartment lets you pay online now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why we haven't switched to that. Oh, they, they allow you to pay online, but it's only direct deposit. You need to hit the save. Also, uh, that's timed. Yeah. That seems really Apparently, you can't get hit. Go you hit the fucking save thing first. I can't get wanna... to it. Oh, well, never mind. That's driving me nuts. I guess pick up your heart then. Yeah. <laughs> well, I gotta... I'm pretty sure you can't get hit. Like, even if you're fast enough, if you get hit on the way over there, it fucking resets. 
See, it moves off screen, so now it respawns the enemies. Watch. Well, it respawns enemies in front of you everywhere you go anyways in this fucking game. Wow. Okay, so there's something else gotta happen there. I don't think you can get there in time. Do you have a run button? I do have a run button, but I don't think it will make me that much faster. I mean, it's not like a run run button. It's like a boost. I don't know. Oh. Hmm. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, is there a way to hit the switch from here? No. Or like... I don't know. Well, I guess you need to go look around for something. I mean, usually with puzzles like this, there's like a bomb you can set off away from it or something. So that it goes off when you're over here. It's an A button switch. It doesn't reset it's, it's it. It's clearly not fast enough, so there's gotta be something else you gotta do. So you're doing this, go down. <laughs> clearly, oh, yeah. clearly you gotta go fucking do something else first. Jars. He's hitting the switch and trying to run across, it's not gonna work. There's a button over there. Yeah, there's... Hurting. There's like a sword and a stone up there. It's cool. That opens hey. that. But this is also timed. <laughs> what what game just surprise you? Games just start fucking with you. I dig that sword. It's cool yeah. looking. Also, a treasure chest down to your left. Maybe this will open a path straight across. Probably. No. I mean, eventually you're gonna have to be able to figure that out. I think. Go down. Exhaust your supplies before you like. Before you spend ten minutes running back and forth, at least fucking look at your options. So there's still a chest down here. Probably gonna be a fucking orb. Now I'm gonna power up. So you don't have anything that slows down time, makes you run faster. Well, I do have something that makes me run faster. I think I just got kind of hung up on something. Yeah, but you didn't even make it halfway across that bridge. I think I was halfway. And you have to make it across the bridge. It was just worth a shot one more time. I, mean, I only tried it the once. A long ass bridge. Oh, I got hung up again. Yeah, you guys just gotta run. You just gotta be fucking precise as hell. At least it doesn't respawn the enemies, really. Oh, god damn it. Alright, it should be fine, though. Same's an asshole. Oh my god! <laughs> I knew you weren't gonna make it. I don't think anybody watching this video expected you to make that. <laughs> I just needed like a half another second.
Oh, yeah, let me learn the controls real quick. Yeah, X is shoot. Trigger makes you run faster. I mean, you can play I around. You were, I think you were hitting the uh, wall too much when you were running. No, it clearly was. Is this the first time you've ever used that controller? Yeah, I fucking hate this thing, too. It feels so weird. <laughs> Give it back! You knew I was gonna have it! Oh no, I knew I knew for a fact that the controller feels horrible. I don't I got used to it, it doesn't bother me anymore. Ah oh, fucking key, yeah. You can have it back. <laughs> well that's where that globe goes. Oh, it's oh it's a back teleporter. Or, yeah, it's it. Yeah. Then I gotta go this way. Oh, did you have a keyhole already? I yeah. wasn't paying attention. It's way the fuck away. Shit, which way was it that was over here? <laughs> you can jive in. Oh, oh my you fucking suck! Oh, I fucking hate this game so much. Teleporter. Yeah, I know. I was... <laughs> I'm gonna pause the episode. <laughs> Why? Because we're at 16 oh, minutes. Okay. See you on the next episode. I'm just gonna keep heading towards the key. I'm gonna see if I leave one. If not. For some reason.